hey, let me just say this. If you're an up-and-coming boxer and you don't want to worry about the boxing promoter being all in the videos, talking about himself, come to top rank. That's, that, that way they fuck up. Don't ask Floyd no damn questions. That's where y'all fuck up at. Well, even if you don't ask him, he's still gonna t he's still gonna find a way to talk about himself. How are y'all to feel that Canelo come? All right, by by the greatest of all time. How's it feel to be back by him? And now you took your first. He got to appease him, man. You the greatest of all time. Like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Got to appease this fool. Step into creating your own greatness. And Floyd, my question for you is, what was it like for you? What, were you? what was going through your mind after your first victory? Don't ask Floyd. No, why you at? Why you had to ask Floyd a question? He talk enough about himself. Did this? What well, did he just say? What was going through your mind after your first victory? What? I know you didn't ask that shit. Be back by him, and now you took your first step into creating your own greatness. And Floyd, my question for you is. What was it like for you? What, were you? what was going through your mind after your first victory? Oh, my God, bro. Why you had to ask Floyd about that? God damn. Oh, we going to be here all night. We, we can't be disrespectful. When he gets to a certain level, we got to let Canelo come through. Yeah. You know, I don't, you know, no disrespect. This Canelo is the main event and the main attraction. So I'm not going to do that. Um, Dante, you going to be able to pull us to the side? You don't know. I already did it. Okay, this is going to go off, but just listen earlier how he will, how you act. If I get in the ring with one of my fighters, I'm still in the shine. And if I don't show up, I'm hating on him. So, I let Linda do it. You ain't going to let Linda do shit. Introduce uh, Mayweather Promotions' most recent signee. He's a future world champion. Um, he he want to be Leonard. He want to be the greatest of all time. He want to be... Not 17 years old again. I mean, Floyd want to be every goddamn thing. Damn, let somebody else do something, Floyd. Shit. Outstanding performance tonight. Floyd want to be him and him. And him. He want to be all three people. Um, he's 1-0, and no, and he's on his way to greatness. Kamel Moten. Hey, Camille, I ain't damn, you age, Camille. Damn, Camille, you age, damn, you look like Floyd, Camille. Funny how Leonard introduced Camille Moten and uh, Floyd gets up on the mic. He wouldn't, he didn't introduce you. Fall back. Hey, Camille, how you doing? sweat and tears see a lot of y'all sit behind the computer and write about us fighters but you guys never take the time oh, off shut to up please shut the fuck up Jim to see what these guys go through now on media day you guys do show up and we and we appreciate it because without the media and, and the support from the people from all walks of life around, around the world the we up. wouldn't be where we at so I want to say thank you to all the media the, the different media outlets uh, Kevin, I know what it takes when it's a fight of this magnitude. And I was the same young fighter before, and I had a dream. So I'm proud of you. Um, and it's just, it's no different from other, other young fighters that I believed in, that I said was going to be. You know, I, I don't mind Floyd talking a little bit. But when you get it, when you give the mic to Kamel, let Kamel say and leave it alone. And man, Floyd can't leave it alone. Uh, good and great someday. Just like Javante Tank Davis, he was in the same shoes you were Yeah, in. and that's why he and can't stand you not didn't right believe, now. But then when it happened, they believed then all the jealousy came. So I'm proud of you, and I'm pretty sure they got a few questions for you. Come on up. This is going to be funny. Listen to this. Come on up. 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 Come on up.
I'm okay. I need you. We didn't see the fight. We were in here. What? <laughs> so you heard him. He said we didn't see the fight. We was in here. Yeah, cause Floyd had the damn man had the boy fighting after the damn Canelo fight. What kind of shit is that? I don't know what Floyd was trying to do with that. He had the man fighting after the Canelo fight. And and, the, and you heard the guy. The guy said we didn't see the fight. We was in here. <laughs> Floyd, uh, what? Yeah. Yo, 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 I got one. Hey, come out, what's up, brother? Congratulations on your first win, uh, debut. Um, you put him out pretty quickly, you know what I'm saying? Um, this being your first your first fight, was there any jitters? How did you feel actually, you know, kind of breaking yourself in? Well, he about to interrupt him then. Uh, oh, ADD ass, ADHD ass. I felt ready, you know. I had a great camp with my team. And uh, I knew I had Floyd behind me. He believes in me, so I had the utmost confidence going into this fight. And uh, I went in there and did what I do. I just, I just had one other one. Um, I had the chance to talk to Leonard this week. Uh, he said that you graduated from Floyd Mayweather University. He said you've been with him since he was about five years old. Um, yeah, Floyd, how, how you, you've seen it all. How far do you feel like, just based on seeing them and, and training them, um, that Carmel will go? Okay. Now you hear that question. How far you think Camilla go? Watch Floyd finna make it a whole by by the whole something else. Well, he, he's only 17 years old. He's only 17. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of amateur experience. A lot of amateur experience. Inter international experience. But, and, and it's crazy, uh, my Uncle Jeff, he's right there. You know, he has uh, the Mayweather channel. So you guys. So? We know that. What was you talking about him for? Show love and support him um, on YouTube. They ain't had nothing to do with the question. But with this being said, you know, Jeff has, he got a lot of, you know, solid fighters in the gym. What the fuck? See, that's what I'm talking about. Motherfucker got ADHD, bro. And these guys work with one another. Every he day. asked you how far you think Camille will go. He talking about Jeff Mayweather got some fighters. Come on, bro. The man, nurses, come get your boy, nurse. Get this boy, out. get this man off stage, man. Take him back to his home. Every day and push each other, push each other to be great. And at eight years old, nine years old, I, you know, I always told him in, in due time. You know, everything takes time. And I feel like, you know, the timing is right. Even if he still want to go to the Olympic Games. You know, we still want to put him in the Olympic Games, okay, but okay, okay, why not get good. him started right now? And um, just, you know, Leonard, Showtime, Steven, I want to say, you know, thank you just for, for believing in me. Well, here we go. You know, when no, here we go. When no one else believed in me, you guys <laughs> believed in me. When I came to you guys, here we go. And I said, <laughs> this is the deal that I want. And the deal that I wanted was my, the deal that I had couldn't have Shit. no limit on it. Just what? me being with you, just, and you know, when I talk about this to everyone, you know, when you look at certain athletes' careers, we go. you look at Michael Jordan's career, yeah. Michael Jordan got with a company, which was oh, Nike. Lord. Nike. In America, we like to call it Nike. You should have got with Reebok, nigga. Um, it was a three, three hundred million dollar company. We'll be boxing the TD. He turned that to was, we wouldn't still that be company boxing. became a hundred and sixty-eight billion dollar company. Yeah. And Michael Jordan don't own nothing from that company. Whereas with me, I gambled on myself. What? Michael Jordan don't own that from that. Michael Jordan got his own goddamn shoes, boy. What are you talking about? He got his own, it's called the Jordan brand. He got his own company called the Jordan brand. And, and he signs other athletes on the, to wear his shoes. Man's a billionaire. What you talking about? Oh, my God. That $750 million came from you guys. So I just want to say thank you. And today, the things that I'm able to do for these young fighters is, even with today, with him out going out there fighting, I was able to get him sponsorship where the sponsor he was able to make more money with the sponsorship than when he fought. So, and then what we're going to do is teach these kids about being financially responsible, so that okay. when he's my age. That's good. I, I can I, I can get with that. 
um, he's, he's, he's living okay. So I'm very with that. proud of you. Um, we're going to make sure that you invest in real estate uh, like myself and make some smart investments. I can get with that. So you don't end up like a lot of other athletes. And we don't want the sport of boxing to retire you. You want to be able to retire from the sport when you're ready so you can be like me. Articulate well and you still got all the The man won. Okay, fuck it. The man won an old man. God damn. So I'm proud of you. You're <laughs> 17. So you have yeah. a lot of stories they want to write. We don't need to see, we don't need to hear, hear all this right now. I mean, yeah, come on, on man, keep have, it short and sweet. Good stories, you're gonna have bad stories, but it's up to you to know what you want out here. This is a private conversation. This don't need to be said in front of everybody, bro. In this world, you stay positive, you keep believing, and you surround yourself with positive people, and anything can happen. Oh my God. Yeah, I wanna say thank you to Floyd Mayweather. And maybe the promotion, Showtime, and uh, I just appreciate it. Camille, right here in the front row. Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. So my question is, and, and this is sort of to piggyback off what Floyd just said. You, you've been with uh, around since a little boy, and, and I'm sure him and Leonard have taught you and, and, and sort of preached the hard work that it takes in the ring. What have you learned watching him as a young man growing into 17 years old outside the ring of how you have to carry yourself and as a, not as a boxer but as a, as a grown man uh, like bad I said I've, I've learned just a bad example outside the ring that way you learn how to handle myself the way he carries himself with confidence and uh, stands on his business and uh, just plan to follow his footsteps and be the next big thing <laughs> Here we My go. Question is for, I, I want to piggyback off that question. I want these young guys to be better than me. Yeah. I really want these young so guys. He was, he's a bad example outside the ring. I agree with you on that one, Floyd. To be better than me outside the ring. Remember, I didn't have. You know, you, you gotta realize I come from a real rough background. Very, very rough background. And even though I had a great father, and I say great because without my father, all of this wouldn't be possible. So, I wanted to be better, better than I was. All the mis certain mistakes that I made, I didn't have a Floyd Mayweather to be there for me, to teach me certain things. But I want everyone to know, my children, every day I wake up, I'm happy that God has blessed me with healthy children. A lot of things that we take for granted, and those are the things that I don't take for granted. Yes, I had a great career. Yes, I made a bunch of money. But one of the most important things about my career was my defense. <laughs> Keep it short and sweet, Floyd. Get off the, get off the podium, bro. You know, um, it's just like when you guys look at guys like... Now he's talking about defense. At first it was his life outside the ring. Now he just went straight to boxing again. Sugar Ray Robinson. Here we guys, go. Here we go. Look at certain fighters like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> There's nothing great about... <laughs> taking punishment, being able to talk, talk oh. voicing your opinion, and then when you're, in a, when you're in, a, in a position where you can't talk and you can barely walk, the world want to say that, oh, you're the greatest. If if I got to be put in that position to be great, then that's not for me. He is so insecure. He is so insecure. He is so jealous of Muhammad Ali. You know, um, as you guys can see, I have my grandson there with me today and that's a great thing that I'm able to play with him you know I'm still able to do exhibitions oh, Grant. To, uh, travel the world and like I said before um, I didn't do this all by myself you guys the stories that you guys wrote help brother was a negative story I'm talking too long Floyd you saying the same shit you always say a positive story you guys kept my name out there and I will put him in a position to keep his name out there in a more positive light. So, I'm proud of you. Leonard's proud of you. Man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, Floyd. Anyway, this is what Floyd do, man. He gonna do this every every fight, this boy fight. This is what he gonna do. He gonna get up here and talk about himself. Camille Moulton gonna get, gonna get tired of that shit like Tank did, and they gonna fall out. 
So, uh, you know, Camille gonna deal with it now because he's still young. But Floyd got to stop doing this shit. If you gonna talk, man, keep it short and sweet. Let Camille say what he got to say and get off the podium, bro. You know what I mean? And then if they asking you questions, I can understand that they asking you questions. But they ain't got to ask him questions. He's still going to get up here and talk about himself. And if they do ask you questions, keep it short and sweet. Don't don't just keep yagging, yapping on, yapping and yapping and yapping on, man. You got to learn to make that cut that shit short and sweet because it ain't about you. It's about you, oh, you, you, know, you just outshining your fighter. Your young fighter is about him. So if they do ask you something, keep it short and sweet. And then tell them, okay, it's about my fighter now. Focus back on my fighter. You know what I'm saying? I have my time. It's about it's his time now. And let it go. That's it, though, man. Big, big facts. I'm out.